Okay, so I took the speakers out of the bags. And let me tell you, I really like them. They have a very nice finish, which is going to look great in there. I hope they, they sound as good as they look, but these are really, really nice. So the next step here, according to the instructions, is to position these bars in there okay, you want to be careful because it'll the wires in there can uh, interfere I don't know if it's wires or if it's some kind of uh, insulation and I guess you want to pre-fit these things in the car to make sure that um, that you get your spacing right so when you are ready to uh, do the final install you um, you trim this piece to the right to the right width I gotta tell you it's a little awkward to handle this thing but um, Let me get it in the car and see what it looks like and uh, we'll take it one step at a time. Okay, so um, this, was, this was a little confusing for a, for a sec. The instructions talk about set screws. Finally, I, I spotted this set screws and it shows them in here, but um, I, uh, I guess I missed something here or it just doesn't explain it well enough. Long story short, you have these um, trim pieces and uh, come to find out the, instru the instructions show them separ separate here. So anyway, I grabbed a flathead screw, screwdriver. I don't know if you, you're going to be able to see this, but um, the speaker box, one of them, and uh, this is the side. And what I discovered is that you can in insert this thing in here. There's plenty of space. As you can see, the ends are kind of loose, so that's not a problem. But right here, carefully. You want to pry this trim piece up and get it out of there. And that gives you access to the place where the set screws, which I have everything here, but I don't think mine had any, but uh, I'm going to look some more. I'm sure they were included, but uh, anyway. So this allows you to actually position the uh, these, whatever they call them, um, spanner bars or whatever. Yeah, spanner bars, and then lock them in place. So let me see what I can do about that. Look at the box again, or around here, see if I have those those uh, set screws. As a side note, the um, trim pieces that go here at the end of the uh, speaker boxes. I was wondering, they're, they're kind of sticky, and, and no surprise, there's this um, like almost like butyl tape or dum dum. Um, and that kind of presses against the um, the holes here for the set screws, and it keeps that in place. So um, it's a tight fit with this 
middle piece here. So, um, but anyway, I thought I'd point that out in case you're wondering how it's held in there. There they are. Set screws and then there's some regular screws I guess for for these. Should you need those, but uh, oh and it comes with a little Allen wrench. Okay, so as I was showing showing you earlier, you have one, two holes there for the set screws. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so this is one of the set screws. And get it started. And then you can check, make sure that this spreader bar So the whole idea, I guess, is Oh yeah. Yep. So that's that's actually pretty pretty smart because I was wondering otherwise th these things would have made a racket in there. Alrighty, so let me do the uh, the rest of these, and I'll be back. Okay, so let me show you what I what I've been doing here. So I set my tape measure back here, and roughly you have about fifty two. Uh, 51 52 inches so hopefully that'll that'll help you uh, with your installation should you decide to uh, to get one of these boxes yeah it's roughly 52 Okay, I don't know if this is going to work because I have this cord for the microphone. I really could use a wireless, but they are pricey. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you the reason I, I measure that is to have a, a good general idea on how, how to kind of pre-assemble this in order to um, test fit this thing in the car. So let's start by inserting these things. What I sh should do is, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so what, I, what I'm gonna do is measure these bars. Okay, so they're two feet, so 12 inches, I'm gonna put a mark here for the, for the middle, just to have a, a reference point. And then we're going to reinsert these things and uh, try to stay within the um, the 52 inch dimensions. Uh, 
about 52 there. And this is why I wanted to have like, so I could distribute the um, the inner part of the bars equally, not that it matters, but uh, I think it does, maybe a little bit. So then, what you want to do next is tighten the uh, set screws, make them really snug, but you don't have to um, go crazy, and keep checking the, uh, the measurements here. You don't want to make these things too wide, and I think I'm right at 52. I hope this is making some sense. See, and the reason you want to do this is because this is uh, it's held in place by um, kind of by pressure. There's, and I'll show you uh, once we install it in the car, you'll see what this kind of looks like. And then that's why you don't want to pre-cut this thing because once you are positive that you have the uh, the, the speakers set out you know maxed out then you want to measure this portion here and then cut your uh your filler pad okay good so um well this is pretty sturdy that's awesome so anyway let's um do a test fit see what happens i don't know if this is going to work because I'm probably going to block some of the uh, the lens, but uh, anyway, what you want to do is start positioning this thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these two sets on this side, so I can push the uh, speaker assembly in get into position and then stretch it out and see how it um, how it all fits so i'm going to need that little allen wrench but i'm getting there to be honest i don't even know if i want to take this out of there once i get it in place but uh we will see how it goes I have a subwoofer, so yours may be different. Actually, I uh, I don't even remember. I have a wire that crosses over to the other side for uh, this thing here. I don't know if it's for the amplifier or the subwoofer or both. But anyway, I um, and my speakers are up here. I just kind of prop them up there. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just kind of straighten out the wires a little bit this little mess that I have back here and then I think I'm gonna try to rig something here so I can uh, offer additional support to the um, to one of these um, bars I'll show you in a minute Whew. it's been a mess it's been a uh, challenging install but um, anyway let me finish up alrighty so far so good I have this thing set up in there pretty good and what I did is because I I didn't care for this thing just kind of falling off even though it would stay in place because of the uh, fender wells I um you know jury rigged this little wire and uh wrapped it around the uh one of those uh plastic rivet things whatever you call them those clips and uh, so far this is I think looking pretty good and uh, you can only see a little bit of the wire back there but uh, that is nothing. So um, 
I think this is pretty pretty good in place uh, and uh, so now what I have to do is measure the distance in the middle here so I can trim the uh, the trim piece So with that measurement, what I'll do is I'll mark it back here and uh, just cut it, I guess, with uh, with a hacksaw, I guess. That would be probably the easiest. So anyway, that's going to be next. Okay, so for my car, this is roughly 15 inches. Alrighty, so I, I measured, I don't know how many times, um, and, I, and also in the, inside the car. I'm right here. Actually, I could I give myself a little, probably a sixteenths of an inch yes but anyway seven and a half and I'm that center there so actually I read the uh, instructions and it says to use a sharp blade knife and uh, this actually is covered a little bit by the trim so it gives you a little bit of um, oh, an error margin I guess you can say holy moly once you do this you're committed <laughs> so Thankfully, this is not very hard to um, to cut. So, There it is. Okay, so one thing I did here, you may have to do the same thing, is there was extra material, and that extra material was actually keeping the uh, the channel from going over the um, the spreader bar. So what I'm doing here, carefully, you see there's this extra vinyl here. So, I am just trying to uh, remove that those extra flaps there because, again, they're keeping the um, this piece to uh, sit properly, which is a pain in the neck. So. Just doing my best to remove the excess here and uh, see how that works. And I'm only mentioning. Alrighty. Of course, I'm trying to do this as always, one handed. And this is a pretty snug fit here. Mm. 
in there. I think it's in. Okay. So these pieces, again, they have this sticky stuff on them just to keep them in place. And they're a press fit in here. There we go. There we go. See, gives it a nice finish, which is pretty cool. There. Oh, so what do you think? Looks pretty darn good. And this is off of the, uh, the base of the storage area. So, I can definitely, even with the uh, subwoofer here, if need be, I can always relocate this sucker while I store the um, the T-tops back here. But I think even they can sit on top of this a little bit. I have the, um, the bags up there. So, anyway, really happy with this. Um, how it looks. I mean, it looks like factory stuff. This is totally worth whatever it was, 120 bucks. And uh, with that little piece of uh, wire that I added as a support, I mean, they're not they're not going to be moving. So anyway, very cool. Apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash AutoNavigator. Earn more, save more, and do more with Radiant Credit Union's Visa Platinum Rewards Credit Card. Right now, you can earn up to 7,500 bonus points, get a low introductory rate, earn exclusive Radiant Dime back. Looking for the one, what you looking at the one? I know the uh, the iPhone cannot pick up that uh, that sound properly, but uh, sounds pretty darn good. I am happy with it, and of course I have the uh, the Kenwood subwoofer, which has a little amplifier, and uh, so this is just perfect for me. <sighs> it was um, a lot of work. I still have to um, vacuum, reinstall the seat, and um, I, know I still have some tools there, I forgot about that. But anyway, super, super happy with how this turned out. And I regained the, uh, the space that I, that I wanted back there. So, I think that's gonna be it for now. I don't know what else I can film here. I, uh, again, I apologize, I cannot do anything about the sound really. Uh, as far as um, showing you how, how good I think it sounds, but I think a lot of it has to do with the, uh, with the subwoofer. So if you're gonna go this route, I would definitely consider installing one of the, uh, the small subwoofers. And I think some of them will fit under the uh, the seat, I don't know if it'll, it'll fit under the seat of a Corvette, but um, anyway, so this is how I have my uh, mind set up. But again, I'm just super, super happy with the, uh, with the results. And that looks so factory. I mean, it looks awesome. And uh, they say that you can actually paint it if you want it to match the carpet. I like the, uh, the contrast with the black and all these black pieces, so. Find that SES. 
Alrighty, that's it for now.